Hello, today we are going to learn how to use the Carry UV Viz instrument. First, we're going to come over to the computer and we are going to get, click on this Carry UV Workstation. And it's going to bring up our home page. Then we're going to select Scan right here in the middle. Perfect. So now this is up, and now we need to go over here to this toggle, which is called um, Method Setup. And we're not going to mess with anything over here, but over here underneath the detector module, we are going to select Compact um, Peltier UV Vis. Uh, then we are going to go down here, and we want this to display vertically. Perfect. Now we look over here and this is white. So we're gonna come over to the instrument, I'll show you how, and you press the on button here. And there's another one back here. Sometimes you have to feel for it, Nick. There we go, got it. So now the instrument is gonna come on and then we're gonna come back over here. Sometimes this might take a second, so just wait. Okay, so now this, our instrument, the Carry UV Viz, has popped up. So we're gonna click on this, click connect. And then now when we look back over, this has turned green, which means that the instrument is connected to the computer. So we're ready to go. So then we're gonna go down to this. Toggle looks like a um, bar graph. Click on that. And this is gonna be all of our samples. So instead of just labeling them sample one, sample two, sample three, Let's go ahead and label what these samples actually are going to be. Since today, um, this is just um, a demo, I'm just going to say um, A, B, C, um, 0 0.5 molar, and then I'm going to do my initials, E, W, H. And it's a good rule of thumb, um, control C to go in increasing order of concentration to reduce the contamination. And now it's time to load our samples. So come on over and we're gonna shift this um, black box. It doesn't take very much effort at all. And we have these two wells. So this one towards the back is always gonna be our reference. And this is gonna stay in the entire time. It's not gonna change. And this well up here, this is gonna be for our sample. This is gonna change. This is the one we're gonna um, pour out and put the new samples into. So let's go ahead, come over. Today this is just a demo, so I'm just going to use water. Uh, I like to use a pipette just because um, it's a little bit easier. Sometimes it gets hard to pour. So it takes a few squirts. And it doesn't have to be exact because this instrument measures path length this way, so it doesn't really matter how tall it is, but I normally aim around this blue line right there. So there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to use a Kim wipe to make sure that there's no bubbles. There we go. And clean off the edges right there so it's nice and clean. Then I'm normally, it's good practice to just keep your hands on this tempered glass part. All right, so then we're going to come over here. And you see there's this like arrow right there. And right here, so this is where the light is gonna shine through. So we wanna make sure that the clear glass side, so the side with the printing on it, like that letters, and then on the other side, you can see there's the sun. So we wanna make sure that that side is pointed with the arrows, like this. Here we go. So this is our reference. So now we're gonna load our sample. Today, we're just doing water, but I'm gonna show you um, a graph of something I did, worked on yesterday better example right so normally this would not be the same as the reference this would be a specific solution okay same thing again don't touch the tempered grass bubbles make sure it's nice and clean okay there we go then again we're going to use the clear glass side with the arrows then this is an important step. We're going to close the top before we're going to take our, our readings. So now we're ready. We're going to come over here and we're going to press this play button. And it prompts us to save. So a good rule of thumb is to include your initials and the date. So I'm just going to say demo 
EWH, and then 7, 14, 21. Save. Next, this is going to be a loading guide. It's going to pop up automatically. I didn't press anything. And this is just going to confirm that this is what I have in the loading zone. So this is correct. I have the reference farther back. And then this is my supposed analyte, but it's just water today. Push OK. And that's going to start the instrument. You can hear it's like a pretty high pitch sound. So you can tell that it's working. And then as it reads, there, um, you can see it working over here. Okay, this is some data that I collected earlier this week. Um, you can see over here the different samples are color coded and they're an increasing concentration. And one of my favorite aspects about this program is right here under peak preferences, you can select peaks and it will go ahead and label all of these peaks. Um, so right here, I say that I wanted to get a better look at what was going on. I can click, I'm gonna click down and then drag a box. And that's how you can zoom in. So I can see um, all of the different lines. Go. Okay, so now we have our data and these are gonna be the points that I'm gonna use in my Beer's Law plot. Um, but I don't wanna copy down all of this data. So we're gonna learn how to export it. So I'm gonna go over here to the three lines. I'm gonna go back to home. And then right here, I'm gonna find what I was on. So I was on this, um, I was on this one. And then I'm gonna click these three little dots in the corner and it's gonna come down and it's gonna say export. Then I'm gonna choose CSV file. It normally comes up um, as this carry UV workstation, but we want CSV. And then we're gonna push export. Then it's gonna come down here and say successfully, uh, successfully exported one file and you can click show and it'll show you where it is on the computer, which is right here. And then I would use a USB file to export that onto my computer. But also, I'll show you how to do this. Last thing is that this demo that I just did. I don't want, how am I gonna find this? This is gonna become really full. So I'm gonna organize this by putting it into my folder. So I'm gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna say add to group, and choose core form, this is my folder. Perfect. So now we are finished with all the data and it's just time to clean up. So gentle reminders um, to turn off the machine, click this button, and this one back here. You, you'll hear it turn off. Open this. I'm gonna need to take out both cubettes, rinse them, and have them ready for the next use.